with the current patch promoting an early orchid, let's find out how we can reliably achieve a 10 minute orchid in half of your matches. And by saying half of your matches, I mean specifically those matches where Storm can move in and out of the creep wave without taking heavy penalty. So, those particular matchups include such opposing heroes as Ember Void Spirits, Invoker, Kanka, Zeus, Visage, Brood, and some others. And if you're facing heavy harassment heroes such as Klings, Queen of Pain, Shadow Friend, Viper, Huskar, and some others, your timing will suffer thanks to the need of extra regen or leaving lane earlier. So, for the purpose of this topic, I will specifically talk about reaching a 10 minute orchid timing when your matchup is one of the first half of the heroes mentioned. And in this particular game, I am laning against Void Spirit. Let's break it down. Coming into the lane, I am bringing minimal regen because I don't intend to trade much. One branch tango should be sufficient until the battle arrives, which will be earlier thanks to the gold saved on regen. If there is currently no threat to the creep being denied, I will use right clicks to save as much mana as possible. And whenever there is a threat of ranged creep being denied, that's where we remnant. Against most matchups, Storm will want to avoid keeping the lane static, as static lane means the opponent can trade and we want to avoid trading against heavy harassment heroes. And likewise, we want to avoid trading here too, as we didn't bring regen and plan to use the extra saved mana on the jungle rotations. So we keep the waves bouncing between towers. If you know the enemy will be busy in the next few seconds, like when he moves to secure his own last hit, use this opportunity to safely take the ranged creep yourself. It won't be contested and the wave's equilibrium will be disrupted. We will avoid taking vortex in such matchups as we're focusing on our own farm and not trading with the opponent. And because we have avoided taking vortex with a second level in remnant, it is economically viable to begin clearing camps as early as level 3, as you will only need 2 remnants to do the job. Sometimes you can position yourself in a way that the opponent will be afraid of a potential remnant. Here, thanks to the creeps on my own high ground, I can physically stand near the enemy's ranged and Void will be reluctant to go for a deny in fear of Fremlin to the face. Regarding items, since we're not in need of regen to trade, we'll pick up mana regen separately through the Sobi masks which will keep us well sustained throughout the jungle rotations. And with increased mana region, we can now afford to clear both a wave and a camp within each minute, boosting our farm significantly. Double kill. By minute 4, we'll want to refresh our bottle with the rune, so best case scenario is to push the wave just before minute 4, or if unsuccessful, choose a side you can reach faster than the opponent. My wave wasn't under the opponent's tower and the rune spawned on the opposite side of where I would reach, so if I am unable to get the rune, I will use the time my opponent is taking said rune to right click everything I can, so by the time he returns, I'll have my last hits without wasting any mana. I will even right click an enemy hero from another lane, so I can better position the creeps by the time Void returns. We've managed to take the farm just in time before the enemy mid returned with the rune, and now it is a great opportunity to make a run back to the base. 
If you manage to purchase boots before minus 4, you can make the trip and back with minimal losses. Regardless, if you refilled your mana with the rune or with the trip back to the base, prepare your mana expenditure to take the bounty rune near you by minute 5. Stupendous. The less mana you need to help with last hitting, the better. Here, the distance between the range creep and melee creeps is too big. So I will right click the enemy hero and prep the range creep at the same time, allowing me to last hit all three with just one spell. And again, the less mana you spend in the lane, the more mana you will have for jungle and vice versa. By this point, I am able to clear two camps before returning to mid to clean up. Until Orchid, this is my rotation. Camp Camp Wave. Going to the sides to gank, even with a good rune, is still the slower method when you want to rush an item. Killing spree. And that's it. Orchid is complete at minute 9 and I am ready to fight at the minute 10 runes. This concludes today's topic. I am leaving you with the rest of the match. Thank you for watching. Good luck. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. <laughs> Someone better help Dyer's middle tower. <laughs> Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is being chipped away. Dyer's bottom tower always did get short shrift. <laughs> A dominating performance. Onage. Blew the man down. <laughs> Haste. Mega kill. <laughs> Clear unstoppable. I delivered the 
unto death. Bottom tower is under attack. Better help 